Hello everyone! In previous videos, we create our Shopify store, connected it to the Printify store, and make it live. Because our initial goal is to do multi-channel sales, we are going to start registration on the Amazon Marketplace. Amazon is one of the largest platforms with millions of available products. And we would like to have the possibility to sell there also our t-shirts. Registration for Amazon depends on your region. In all cases, you need to find Amazon Seller Central specific for your region or area. On Seller Central, you need to click on the registration button. Please notice that we plan to register as a professional sellers. That cost is around $40, depending on the marketplaces. During registration, you need to enter your name, email, and password. Sometimes Amazon will also ask you to solve a complex puzzle to avoid bot registration. At the next step, Amazon will ask you a to enter one-time code from your email. So please make sure you enter your real email. Following to email validation, you will need to do the same validation for the phone number. The step with base registration is done. Now Amazon will be required to provide more information about your business. Please notice that on this step Amazon will be required you to upload confirmation documents, like your passport and utility bill. Please make sure that you have all data with you. In the first step, please enter your business details. It's not necessary that your business should be located on a registered marketplace. Please also indicate the business registration address and company registration number. Then please enter the details of the main contact person, together with their registration address. You also will be needed to enter all details of business owners here. Amazon takes very seriously privacy, so the information provided here will be verified. On the next page, please enter your bank details. These details will be used by Amazon to transfer the payment you receive for your products. If your bank is not on the list, you can select other and enter its name. Following bank details, Amazon will ask you to enter credit card details. This payment method will be used for paying all commissions and fees to Amazon. The remaining steps are connected to the verification of provided details by uploading documents. Please notice that Amazon usually needs at least a couple of days before the account will not be fully verified. As soon as you finish with the registration process, you will receive access to the Amazon Seller Central dashboard. Inside the dashboard, you will see your main account health status and a list of the latest orders. To verify the status of your account and your approval for selling, please navigate to Settings Account Info. On this page, you can find a list of all marketplaces where you are allowed to sell and the status of your account. You also can update your personal information and details for bank account and payment methods. And you also can change the status of accounts for different marketplaces. A list of your current active inventory items you can find in the corresponding menu. We will this option in the following videos, but here you can find quantity and price for all your products. To create new products you need to navigate to Catalog Add Product. Then you need to select the category where you plan to sell your products. The one important fields that you can find on the page with product creation, it's an external product ID. It's also known as barcode, UPC, EAN, or GTAN number. Amazon required, for most of the cases, that seller provide this number. 
It allows Amazon to avoid duplicates of listings. We don't have barcodes, but because we are selling print-on-demand products, we can apply for GTIN exemption. In the video description, we set a link with a link to Amazon documentation on how you can apply for it. Please click on the GTIN exemption link. Then please choose your product category and enter the brand you would like to list there without barcodes. We will enter Printify and General. After submitting the form you may see that Printify can't be accepted as the brand, but General works fine. And now you can add a new product directly from this form. Or using Catalog Add Product page. Please notice that for the general brand Amazon will not show you a list of allowed exemptions. So you actually never know as you already applied here or not. Now when we have a GTIN exemption, we can create a new product. During creation in a brand field, we need to enter generic, only in this way Amazon will allow us to avoid setting barcodes. That's all for today. Next week we will take a look into the form of creating products, and how to add variation, price, and stock details. And we'll create a few products for our Printify t-shirts. Stay tuned! If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or email us.